In this video, we're going to take a look at saving black boxes. Black boxes are extremely powerful in thinking particles because it allows you to save a chunk of code or a set of rules and groups and recall them at any time so you can use them again. That way you only have to create it once, save it because you know you're going to be reusing it, and then call it again. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll change our viewport around. Something we've been doing a lot with these test scenes is creating a rule um, and we use a generator. We use particle draw quite a bit and we create some particles out here and we are going to give them a standard shape connect that tell them to be cubes and then also set their size and we'll go ahead and set their size to be 10 with a variation of 50 percent and then also this particle uh, draw we're going to set their lifespan to be 300 just to give them some initial life we'll go ahead and turn on the you uh, show mesh turn off edit on the fly there okay so this is kind of just a, a basic setup that we've been using a lot so we're gonna go ahead and save this out as black box um, in order just for it to to look good and so when we use it we can see what we're dealing with we're gonna go ahead and rename this rule we're gonna call this uh, draw simple and the way that we're gonna save this black box so that we can just reuse this at any time is we're gonna come up here in the dynamic tree and we're gonna select uh, draw simple that's a dynamic set there you can tell by that icon and we're going to go ahead and come down here and click on this save button and we're going to save in a particular directory under our uh, tp3 black boxes directory in one called test and we're going to call this draw simple it's just going to use the name from the rule we'll hit save and now it's going to give us a request menu and this has to do with how tp is going to deal with the particle groups saved in this black box when we use that black box so as soon as we come over and tell it, hey, I want to use this black box again, it's going to want to know how should I deal with the particle groups saved in that black box. Uh, we can either have TP request and ask us what to do at that time. Uh, we can automatically not create any new groups. We can use any existing groups we have. Um, it can use the existing or create new ones if it needs to. Or we can just have it blindly create all of the groups that are already in that black box. So if you already have some of those already defined, it may lead to duplicates just so you know. Uh, for now we'll just go ahead and say request and once we click that it has saved that black box. We're gonna go ahead and remove that rule and we'll create a new blank rule and we're gonna come over and see in order to call that black box now let's go ahead and scrub to get rid of that. In order to call that black box we come over here to the create panel under the black box button and you can see right now it's on the M3D Basic. Uh, all these can be configured. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but we know that that draw simple is in the test category. So we'll click on that. And we'll click on the draw simple, drop him out here. Here comes this request menu. Um, we don't really need to create any new groups. We could we have the all one already here. Or we could just say use existing and it would just use all. Um, so we'll just say use existing. And you can see immediately that it goes ahead and recreates that setup that we had saved. Uh, it saves the actual particles being drawn, at what frame, saves their lifespan. So all the parameters that have been saved at the time you save the black box are going to be called back and set once you load it. Okay, so that's just one example of saving a black box. Let's take a look at another. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and we'll actually call in that draw simple again. We don't need any new groups, so we'll just say none. And we'll come into the draw simple dynamic set. And let's also go ahead and add uh, a velocity, because we've been doing that a lot. And we're going to have him go off in the y direction. Uh, let's put a speed of 20 with 50% 50, 50 variation. And take a look from the top view. OK, so it gives him some motion. Let's see. we want to change the size in these a little bit. Let's bring them down to 6. Okay, and so now we've got a new operator in here, velocity, and we're going to go ahead and save this as a new black box, or maybe we'll just overwrite that old one. So here we are inside the draw simple dynamic set. You click on this uh, blue bar up at the top. It tells us we're in the draw simple. This corresponds to this here. And so we're going to go ahead, instead of clicking this Save button, we'll just use this one. 
and it's going to save all the contents of this dynamic set into a black box for us. Again, we'll go ahead and we'll save over that draw symbol. And yes, we want to replace it. And we'll just say request again when we use it. Okay, so we will remove that draw symbol, come back to the black boxes, and click on draw symbol and drop them out there. And what we get again is the request menu. We don't need any, so we'll just say none. And right away we can see those groups being born. It's got the velocity as well. And there it is. Now something a little different, if you uh, drag a box in the work area around all those operators, and you see their title is highlighted in white, um, you can come out here in blank space now and right click and say save. And this will do the same thing uh, as this, except that it's not going to create a, uh, a dynamic set when we use that black box. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens. We'll select those, we'll right click, we'll say save, um, and now we're going to call this we'll call this draw simple 2, and we'll say automatically I want you to use none or create no new groups. Okay, so we save that, we save this, we save the contents of this using the save right click menu. We're going to remove that, and now when we use draw simple 2, what's going to happen is it's going to only create the contents of that dynamic set. It does not create the actual draw simple dynamic set that we had seen before. If we use just the old draw simple, you'll see that it's going to create this uh, kind of bluish uh, dynamic set here. So it actually creates a, a whole a whole rule dynamic set within itself. So that's kind of the difference of how um, when you select contents, right click and use save, it's going to only bring those contents into the current spot when you use the black box. But if you click on the dynamic set and click this save, it's going to recreate that dynamic set and the contents. As well, if you use this save button up here, it's going to save the dynamic set and the contents. So just some of the different ways that you can save those out.